I have another list of a bunch of things that I've really been loving. So I don't know what it is about green insulated things that I'm so obsessed with, but this is the coffee mug that I've been using. It's by Created Co. and it's like the prettiest green ever. And my coffee stays so hot in this, it's not even funny. If it's like a cup of coffee, I don't drink the whole thing like quickly. You know, I take sips throughout the day and I'm doing a bunch of things. So I was leaving my coffee out for a very long time. And by the time that I would get back to it, it was like freezing. And this works so good that I actually have to leave the top off for a little while until it gets to the right temperature because I don't like very, very hot coffee. I like my coffee like hot, but not like super, super hot. So I leave it off until it gets to the right temperature. Then I put it on and it stays at temperature for hours. This one I got more recently, but I wanted to talk about it already because I'm so picky when it comes to water tumblers. This is the, I think it's simple modern. It's just like a very slim, 40 ounce water tumbler. It's insulated. It has like a rubberized straw holder so that it doesn't like spill and stuff. You just twist it off and it comes with like a really long straw. I wanted something that can hold more water because I, again, you know, I'm a mom now. Don't have a lot of time to be like refilling things. You know, I just noticed I was drinking a lot less water because it wasn't like, I wasn't wanting to refill it throughout the day and I would just forget. So having this huge thing just laying around reminds me to drink water. I do like it more than the Stanley. I purchased two Stanleys, okay? I spent $80 on Stanley. And the first time that I ever dropped mine, honestly, I think I had it for like three days before it fell by mistake, it broke. It broke, okay? I've had my Yeti for years. I've dropped that thing so many times. The top has flown off, the magnets have flown off, and I just pop it right back on. It has never broken. The Stanley, I dropped it once and it broke. So I boycotted Stanley. Like I, I got so mad because they're expensive. Okay, so I stayed with my Yeti even though it held less water. And then I came across this one and I was like, let me give it a shot and I love it. And best part, it's cheaper than a Stanley. So thank you so much. Next up, I have this little thingamabob right here. And it is just a phone SD card reader and it also has for micro SD. I think this is a USB-C port and then it has for a regular sized SD card. And this, you connect it to your phone and you can import pictures directly from any SD card, which is great. If you have, you know, cameras that you like to shoot with or film with and you quickly want to import it to your phone, I think this is like amazing. I honestly want to get more to just throw into every bag so that I always have it with me because I almost always have a digital camera with me. I know that most cameras allow you to transfer pictures from your digital camera to your phone through Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, but I feel like this is just faster. These earrings are the ones that I've been wearing the most lately. I didn't wear them today because I'm wearing silver, but these are just some teardrop earrings. We've seen Bottega Veneta, and I don't know, I don't think Bottega Veneta was the first one, but now, you know, they're all over the place, but they're super expensive. So these are a nice dupe. They're by Kos, and they're so cool. I just love throwing like something like this, a tank, something super, super casual, and throwing these on, and it just elevates your outfit. Fit. This is what it looks like. I desperately need to do my nails, so please excuse them, but I love them. And I feel like they're the perfect size. They're not too big because there is such a thing as, you know, even if you do want to elevate your outfit, like your earrings can be, or your jewelry can be a little too much. I like to not have to deal with my hair that often. So headbands are my go-to. They have been forever. I got these three from Target. They're just like a fabric headband. And then I love these. This one is from Amazon. They have every color and it's just like a suede kind of material. And I mean, they're all great, but in terms of like what it looks like up close and what it feels like, this one feels like, this one feels more like expensive, even though it isn't. This bag is what I've been wearing the most lately. It is by Demilier London. And it's just like a clutch style bag, but I can fit so much in here. I've just been throwing this on when I'm wearing something super casual, which is 100% of the time nowadays. And it just elevates like the little, I thought I wasn't gonna like this strap. I thought it was gonna be like the wrong shade of gold and it was just gonna look too like tacky or like too much. But I was so pleasantly surprised when I saw it in person. It's like a very heavy luxe feeling chain. 
and it just makes like these little tank outfits or like very casual outfits look so much more elevated without looking like you put on a very 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 fancy bag yes it's an elegant beautiful like fancy looking bag but it doesn't look like overboard fancy when you put it on a very casual outfit and it's just very easy to snap open and close and i love it these shorts that i recently got by coast they're just like this pleated mid-length high-waisted short love them i think that they are the perfect length in my opinion this is the length that i like or something like a tiny tiny maybe like an inch or two shorter because i feel like again you can dress it up and you can dress it down i've been wearing these shorts with everything okay whenever i don't want to wear pants because it is a thousand degrees outside i've been throwing these shorts on next i have this little octo buddy sucker Thing. I was very skeptical about this because this phone is heavy. I have the biggest iPhone and it's just heavy, you know, so I didn't think that this was going to be able to hold it, but I'm very pleasantly surprised with this. I can stick it onto almost every surface. Aside from creating content, I have a baby now. So there are so many times that I want to capture a random moment and plopping my phone down somewhere just doesn't work. So if I find glass or metal or anything that I can stick this onto, it just gets a better picture, you know, a better uh, shot. I used to use loofahs and obviously, you know, loofahs harbor a lot of bacteria. You have to be replacing them so often. They would just go to crap so quickly and I was tired of it. So I did a little bit of research and I came across this one and I really like it. I'm usually not a fan of these silicone brushes, at least not like for my body because I feel like it doesn't lather enough. It still doesn't lather as much as a loofah, but I still like it better it's simpler it has like longer silicone bristles compared to like other silicone brushes that i've had so i feel like that does a better job at lathering your body wash even though it doesn't lather as much as a loofah once you learn how much body wash you have to use in order for it to lather enough it's fine yeah it also has this back part which i've been using to massage my body like once i lather everything i use this side to kind of massage my body like i would use a lymphatic like wood brush or a dry brush and i feel like it's doing something i still have to use it a little more because i have i've been using this side mostly and i recently started using this side and i i don't know if i'm going crazy but i think it's doing something like in terms of smoothing things out because you know dry brushes they're supposed to help with cellulite and things like that like just get things moving any kind of massage that you do to your body especially like a lymphatic style or like in the motions of lymphatic draining i feel like is beneficial no matter like what you're using so the fact that this is attached to the part that i'm using to lather my body it just makes everything so easy i don't have to grab anything else it's just it's there it's ready to go you know once i'm all lathered up i can just use this side so the easier something is the quicker something is the more you're gonna use it. And that is what's important. I have dry brushes, but I am in such a rush to get in the shower at the end of the day that I don't want the extra steps anymore. Like I just don't have the time for it. I don't have the energy for it. I got this, which are just like these little clips, these velvet hanger clips. If you have a lot of velvet hangers, but you don't have a lot of like pant or skirt or bottom holding velvet hangers, get yourself these little clips they're great they attach to the hanger i don't know if you can, like can you see this little part right here it attaches to the hanger and then you can clip your pants or any bottoms with this so you can convert a regular velvet hanger into a pant hanger i've been using this little beauty sponge and i like it more than the bigger one i feel like it's more precise it really gets in everywhere and i can use the back part to blend anything out obviously you know i'm not really using this to blend out a lot of foundation or anything on my face i usually use a brush for that but for the t-zone and for the under eyes and like setting everything i i love the precision of this the big one like wouldn't get in my inner corner so it would like cake things up there and it just it wasn't as efficient as this one if you guys saw my recent vlog you would have seen that my brother gave me his mom ikea bedroom furniture and he didn't have the bottom drawers but i purchased the bottom drawers 
and this whole setup has been so helpful this month so it's something that i've really been loving i stuck all of my winter stuff in there obviously you know i live in miami so i'm not getting a lot of use out of those things everything fits so well they also have another system i believe that you can lift the whole bed up so the entire bottom of the bed becomes storage which is really cool because you can stick like your luggages and things that are bigger that you're not using on a daily basis down there and i put the cozy earth bamboo linen sheets on them so i love linen i love the look of linen but when it comes to linen sheets i feel like it just isn't as cozy as like bamboo or jersey or even cotton sometimes so unless you wash them a million times and they're very worn in but these sheets pretty much out of the box they are so incredibly soft so they are bamboo linen they have the look of linen but they feel like bamboo i think they're great they're such good quality obviously you know everything from cozy earth is move with nicole on youtube i've been doing her pilates classes the breath work and the movements just really work out muscles that you probably never touched before never worked out before so you really really feel it and i've just been loving all of her videos they're so helpful and i saved the best for last i know i know i know this is what you guys signed up for it is these pickles these are bubby's kosher dill pickles if you're a pickle girly or guy you need to try these these are the bubby's kosher dill pickles and they are the most flavorful most delicious most amazing pickles ever okay or at least that i've ever tried so love them so much all right i think i covered everything i will see you guys in my next video